Hey guys, so when I saw this on Reddit, I spit my coffee out because it is just so hilarious. So again, this is a joke. But Boros, if you were to wear a Boros t-shirt as a white male, a white cis male, and you went shopping, you would be stopped and asked if you're feeling okay. Because this is the t-shirt in question, and it's really important to point out that it does, yes, it is a white fist, raised up, clenched, and it says chaotic good. I could see how if you don't play magic and you're African American, this would be offensive. And this is what happened to the guy. And I found this, uh, I completely forgot we have a fastest guild called Boros, where people, you know, were supposed to support this guild by wearing pins and t-shirts, and uh, even some people had tattoos of the Boros guild, and I love Boros, I just forgot that they were fastest, basically white power, they're basically white supremacists. Do not wear a Boros Legion shirt in public. So today I was out running errands and decided to nerd out and wear my Boro shirt. It looks like this, I just showed you. I was shopping for food and I noticed I was getting some weird looks. I didn't think anything of it. Maybe they were in a bad mood. Trying times and whatnot. Typical magic player. So I just carried on. Eventually a woman of color approached me and asked me how I was. I told her the standard, oh, you know, how are you? Then she asked me why I would wear a shirt like that. <laughs> that me, this is so hilarious. I mean, it's so funny. It's so funny. These social justice warriors wearing Boros t-shirts outside. Offending all the people of color they get. Without even knowing. I was definitely confused. At first, I was thinking maybe she's a Simic player or something. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, uh, <laughs> Look, I tell you, magic players live in their own bubble. Yeah, this is one of them. But she seemed really concerned. I then looked at my shirt and it hit me. My face turns bright red, the Boris color, and I start to explain it was a trading card thing and it was not intended to be offensive in any way. <laughs> turns out a white man wearing a shirt with a white fist on it. <laughs> For my fastest group. <laughs> a fiction. But like, I mean, yeah, Boros is a um, police state, right? They just police it. Uh, we're going to take a look at Boros as a guild. Turns out a white man wearing a shirt with a white fist on it doesn't look very good. And I feel so embarrassed I didn't think about it. Especially with everything going on these days. She was very understanding though. I quickly finished up shopping just to get out of the public eye. I just feel like an idiot. Oh, by the way, I'm not even a Boris guy. Terse on roll guy. Warren wore a Boris t-shirt and got mistaken as a racist. Had to explain the lore behind it to a concerned woman who knew nothing about magic. But the lore behind it is actually quite bad which I'm going to read it to you. Essentially, the Boros are, you know, like Black Lives Matter and how it started when people kind of were being persecuted by the police. People of color were being mistreated by the police and they were being manhandled and stepped on and need to defrault. Uh, that's basically what the Boros Guild does. The Boros Guild essentially are all the bad police officers who are doing illegal things in one guild. This is not a racist symbol. It's the symbol of um, a fascist legion that wants to increase its power via use of military and wants to suppress everyone that thinks differently. Also, their main color is white. Exactly. That's the summary of the Boros Guild. Now, first of all, I play Boros a lot because I like to play like a fast deck. I don't care what their religion is or what their police state is. That never mattered to me. Um, they're just a fast deck, and I like playing fast decks because then the game is over, and then you can enjoy your time more. So, do I agree with the Boros Guild 
Oh, and here is even more funny. Oof. Now that you mention it, my cousin has a Borg's Legion tattoo on his arm. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> and then the solution is to uh, just fill the white in with black. <laughs> you can't make this stuff up. Like, come on, guys. Guys, you, you cannot make this up. Like, we live in such a bubble in our community that, like, this doesn't even make sense. And, um, <laughs> I mean, their solution is... Seriously, to take the white in the Bar's fist, which, again, I can understand why that's offensive. The Bar's guild is a fascist guild. It's a police state. So, uh, yeah, their symbol is going to be a white fist and flames. <laughs> Imagine the dude wearing this to, like, a, a Obama convention or something. <laughs> oh, 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 man, Magic Players. God, you can't make this up. And this is why I'm still playing the game. I'm more interested in the people and the psychology and everything. Everything else is kind of boring. Yes, I do love MTG Arena. I've already said, yes, it's a great product. And I love it very much. And supposedly when it comes to Mac, uh, I will love it even more. The Boris Legion, a red-white guild from the plane in the city of Ravnica. And that is their symbol. Um, now, will Wizard of the Coast ban... Boros because it is racist by definition. It's a police state. Uh, probably. I mean, I could see this guild being banned. I could see the entire guild being banned based on what I read about it. They have bands, which sounds like some KKK type of stuff. Like, would it surprise me if the KKK inspired this guild? No, not after reading the guild, what the guild is about and what they want to do. The Boris Legion was founded by Purun Raza, a militant flame sword wielding archangel capable of using flame and light magic who fervently and firmly believed in harmonious coexistence even if lives were lost and blood were shed to achieve this. The Legion f functions as the righteous and zealous constabulary and standing army of Ravnica as the League of the Wojak and Boris Army respectively and enforces Ravnica Law. Okay, so this doesn't sound too bad. Um, but as I continue on reading about... So I actually didn't know anything about the Boros Legion. I just knew that they were a very fast deck. Um, and the symbol, until today, I didn't realize that it could be construed as racist. Now, like, obviously when I look at it, I say, oh, yeah, that, that's pretty uh, obvious. And, you know, I don't blame the woman, the person of color. I mean, yeah, that's what I would think, too, if I didn't know magic. All right, this is where it gets a little weird. They have power bands, and they have, like, 14 different versions of power bands. Um, and that seems, like, really weird. Like, whenever you have, like, power band 1, power band 2, power band 3... And your whole uh, guild is a bunch of police officers. Mm, probably not acceptable in today's culture, I assume. And some of the other stuff is kind of weird, which I'm going to show you now. It just doesn't... I didn't even look at this guild. It, but obviously the guild is a fascist guild. They're really into police abuse because a lot of the images they use with Boros is them beating up like an innocent goblin or is there an image where they're beating up a person of color or detaining them or something? Hmm, that would be interesting. So here's the hierarchy, which again is not great. Theater of order, theater of integrity, the dead brigade, that's not great. Theater of Fornification, the War Mine Initiative, and the Theater of Recruitment. And they have to indoctrinate members among the guildless and that seem suitable to serve in the Legion. The more you learn about this and the more you look at the cards, you, you do come to the conclusion that, oh, this is, uh, yes, it's fantasy and no one, believe, no one should be believing this, but I do understand why there are Nazis in this game now because they must really, I mean, this is probably the set for them. This is the guild for them, right? I mean, they would join this guild. Mm. 
it's starting to come and make more and more sense now when I think about uh, Magic the Gathering. Bands, uh, the, the League of Wojak is the official law enforcement for the districts of Ravnica City. Many ranks with the League and the Army share a power band. However, a member of the Army could give an order to a lower ranking Wojak, while Wojak would, could not give a orders to a lower ranking member of the Army. Yeah. That sounds about right. 